a e i o o s s s s a e i o o Hey guys, I was just practicing a little vowel sequence that I'm going to use to demonstrate how to sing on the breath. Now way back in episode number two, I gave you some basic ideas about breathing for singing. So if you haven't seen the video yet, check it out here before you start this lesson. Today we're going to begin applying the idea of singing on the breath using the five Italian vowels A, E, I, O, and U. So stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the 10th episode of Let Your Voice Soar. My name is Jeff Alani Stanfield. I'm your vocal coach here at Voice Soaring Studios in our new location here in northern New Jersey. You know, I heard a lot about singing on the breath when I was a student in college and it seems like that should make so much sense, right? Sing on the breath. But I think the confusion for me and for many of my fellow students came when we didn't have clear exercises or concepts to actually close the chords and get the breath moving. My question was always, does the breath come before the sound? Does the breath come at the sound? Does the breath come after the sound? In the Swedish Italian school of singing, which are the concepts I teach here at the studio, we use the idea of breath and resonance happening simultaneously. We want the perfect onset of sound by allowing the vocal folds to vibrate the moment breath comes through them. This ultimately allows us to sing on the breath. Imagine these are your vocal cords. If I start my sound with too much breath like this, ha, ha, I get a breathy, uncontrolled sound. So we're going to call that the breathy onset. Ha. On the contrary, if I do this, ah, ah. I get a hard glottal attack that's akin to a belt. And we're not talking about belting here. So we're going to refer to this as the hard onset. Ah. Now, if I eliminate the breathy onset, ah, and the hard onset, ah, I should get the perfect onset of sound by going halfway between, like this. Ah. So let's get started with the exercise. First off, we're going to take a short review of the breath I showed you in episode number two. It's the straw breath. Remember, you're going to take the breath through that tiny opening in your lips, no larger than the size of a couple of sipping straws. But before you do this, I want you to place your hands right around your solar plexus. You can find your solar plexus by pressing in here to find the bottom of your sternum and just slightly above your navel. This is your solar plex area. Keep your hands right here. As we take in the breath, you're going to hiss out four times. One more time. Breathe in. And exhale out on a hiss. Now, what I want you to understand is here, this is where you're going to feel your solar plexus slightly turn in for the exhale of breath. Remember, we never want to push the belly out when we're exhaling. It goes slightly in. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So the entire exercise goes like this. You're going to hiss out four times, and then you're going to sing the vowels A, E, I, O, and U on staccato, followed by four more hisses into an ascending five-tone scale using the vowels A, E, I, O, and U. Here's the exercise. A, E, I, O, O. A, E, O, O. And 
that's the exercise. Now, let's take it down into the lower part of the voice first before we head up. So guys, you're going to start at C3. Girls, you're going to start at C4, so you're going to start an octave above us, okay? Here we go. Here's the whole exercise. A, E, E, O, O. Let's take it up. Take it up. notice I'm moving my neck a little bit as I'm going through the scale. This actually relieves any tension that might creep into the neck. Take it up. Ha, e, e, ho, ho. Facial posture is extremely important when you're doing these exercises. You'll notice I'm keeping a little lift underneath my cheeks. This keeps the soft palate lifted slightly and it keeps the sound sailing up there. So if your facial posture is too relaxed, like this, you're going to have a little difficulty getting through those pitches. So make sure you're keeping a slight lift, as I said, underneath the cheeks. Let's take it up. Excellent. Now if you're sitting like I am, make sure you're sitting nice and tall. Try not to slouch over because if you're slouching, that's going to put a lot of pressure on your larynx and it's going to really throw the balance of the voice off. So anytime you're sitting, make sure you're sitting nice and tall. It's really, really important. Again, let's take it up. Very good. By the way, make sure you're drinking plenty of water when you're doing these vocal exercises. It's very important that you not let your throat get dry. We want to keep all of that equipment in there very moisturized, humidified, if you will, so that it works at its optimum best. Now also, if this gets too high for you, you can take it down an octave or you can just start on another note. You don't have to take it this high. But I get a lot of requests from tenors and sopranos to take the exercises up a little bit higher. So we're going to take it up. If it gets too uncomfortable for you, just drop out. Okay, here we go. You know, I really feel emotion here as I go through the five tone scale. Like I said, it's not a big motion, but there is some movement here. We never want anything to lock. Like I 
instead of it gets too high, drop out. Now, as we're going higher though, let me talk about a couple of things. It's very important that no tension creeps in as you're going to these higher pitches. We're going up to F right now. This is going right through the passaggio for the high voice for the tenor and the soprano. So make sure that as you're going up there, you're just following that stream of breath. Now, in my instructional DVD, I talk a lot about what to do to navigate these higher pitches. We really need the soft palate to go wide as we go through these higher pitches, okay? I feel a real stretch of my soft palate going east and west as I'm going through the passaggio. Also, it's very important that the tongue does not retract as we're going through this area, okay? Let's take it up. Remember, follow that hiss right into the staccato vowels, into the legato line, and you should get it. With each hiss out, you'll feel a slight turn in, very, very slight. And then when you sing the vowels, a, a, e, o, and u, you'll also feel a slight turn in, very, very slight. Doesn't have to be a lot, but you want to make sure that you're moving that breath. Okay? Excellent. Last one. Very good work. Give yourself a big hug and congratulate yourself if you got through this exercise. Now, if you were able to get through that whole sequence without a glitch, you must be Superman or Superwoman. So, I want you to practice this a little bit every day. Try to do this a little bit every day. This will really help you get the idea of singing on the breath. Okay? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and informative, and I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about this topic, please feel free to write me at jeff at voicesoaring.com or you can leave a comment in the comment section below. If you're looking for a great vocal workout, don't forget to pick up your copy of my instructional DVD and CD called Let Your Voice Soar. It's still available as a hard copy, but you can now order it as a digital download from the website. If you're looking for voice lessons, I teach right here at the studio in West Orange, New Jersey. I also have a studio at Ripley Greer Studios in New York City, and a studio at Dance Design Studio in Fairlawn, New Jersey, and I teach Skype lessons to students all around the world. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, keep singing and let your voice soar.